This was an interesting chapter. As we're arriving towards the end, I don't actually see any confirmation yet, uh, but I, it has to be the end at this point. The ending of it in Zero is coming, and I gotta say, I am not a huge fan of it, but this chapter was good. Uh, it leaves us with a major question still. Now, I think my theory of who this person was in actuality was confirmed. Don't know for sure yet, but I think this is confirming it. So it is a good way to end it, if this is it. You know, wrapping up that loose end. But before we continue, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, guys. Also, a reminder, we have, there is a, I want to say we because there's a group of us. There is a group of us who have a secondary or another channel where we talk anime called A Weeb Gathering. Please make sure to check that out. It would mean the world to me. It would mean the world to all of us. Check us out there. Please, it would help us. We, we're trying to grow that channel, grow that gr community, and try to help out. And, you know, let us know what you got, what kind of topics you guys want on, on there, because we'd love to know your thoughts. But I'm not going to get too much rambling. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, we see that the fight is wrapping up. If anything, it's not even that much of a fight. We see that the chronophage eats mother. We have Mother restored back to the planet Earth. Everyone's happy. Everyone's glad. We see the, you know, even Xiaomi, you know, saying thank you. And, you know, just having that little moment where everyone is smiling. Former villains, foes, uh, you know, now friends and companions and allies. You know, we see all that, you know, and they're all happy. However, before the chronophage disappears... We actually have this moment where the chronophage lady and Shiki are talking. And, you know, when Shiki said that you we could be friends, that triggered something in the lady. She said, you sound something like of the person that I've been looking for for a long time. Now, that can only be one person. That to me confirms it that the person that Shiki fought is the 20 the two the, yeah, the 20,000 year old version of Lucy that we had not seen we saw what happened to Shiki of course that being the case with you know Ziggy and all that and that whole ordeal but here we see that it is could actually be her now imagine if Ziggy was the one that goes back to the chronophage lady I'm, I'm falling into the realm of theory now i'm gonna go back to what i was you know the actual review here but that's just as a theory guys do you think that maybe that sh that version of shiki slash ziggy will go to the chronophage lady and they could have their happy ending i could definitely see that i can definitely see that and uh, it would be cool but we see that sh this version of shiki or shiki here that we know he actually gets taken by her and as everyone is celebrating, we see that they're starting to get sad, especially with Rebecca, obviously Pino and Happy. They're all sad because of the fact that, you know, where is Shiki? We haven't answered that question. We need to know where he's at, what happened. And, you know, the worst comes to worst. Everyone's, you know, especially with Ziggy's thinking, you know, he was absorbed and, you know, the tears start falling from uh, Rebecca's face. You know, this is sad, you know, because obviously you just... He just made the ultimate sacrifice. Now, that could have also been the case where maybe that's what it took for this to actually happen. For Shiki to make the ultimate sacrifice. And I've said this before and I still stand on it. If that were to happen, if Shiki were to make the ultimate sacrifice in order for everyone else to be happy, I'd be fine with that. It doesn't always have to be a happy ending. Sometimes the hero has to go in order for everyone else to thrive. But we don't know. Obviously, this is just a realm of possibility i don't actually think that shiki will be gone i think he'll be brought back he might even be back on the planet earth who knows but i definitely am interested in seeing how that is especially with the fact that the chapter ends with seeing the that version of rebecca being in what we saw many like a flashback from many many chapters ago so we'll see what happens there as she's actually waking up so honestly it looks to be like a, a very uh, interesting end to wrap up the story. 
But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment on all your thoughts, and as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you all later.